In this overview, we will discuss a new concept introduced in DHIS2-229, Data Level Sharing and Access Control. Data sharing and access control provides more granular control of the data users can see and interact with in DHIS2. This allows us to separate out the ability to work with metadata from the ability to work with the data. This concept now applies to five metadata objects within DHIS2. Category and Attribute Options Datasets Tract Entity Types Programs and Program Stages In order to understand this concept further, let us discuss how these new sharing settings affect each of these objects. In this first overview, we will discuss Category and Attribute Options and Datasets as they are closely linked together. Let us start by discussing Category and Attribute Options. When I review the sharing settings for this item, I will see three new sharing options that were not present in versions 228 and below. Data can capture data, data can view data, and data no access. This complements the previously existing settings for metadata. Metadata can edit and view, metadata can view only, and metadata no access. Category and attribute option data sharing is now an important consideration for both data analysis as well as data entry. In previous versions of DHIS2, if I assign a user metadata can view only for a particular category or attribute option, this was enough for them to edit data attached to a data element or data set that was using the category or attribute option in question. Data sharing applies another layer to this, however. If I want the user to be able to enter data as well as analyze data related to a particular category or attribute option, I need to use the data can capture data setting. If I want the user to be able to analyze data only, then I can assign them data can view data. Note that in relation to data sharing for category and attribute options, can view is not enough for them to edit data in data entry. If I provide them with no access, then the user will not be able to interact with the data within these category and attribute options in any meaningful way. Note that this is now detached from metadata sharing. You could have a scenario where you want someone to be able to manage this metadata and therefore provide them with metadata level sharing, but do not want them to see any data and therefore not assign them any data level sharing. For your reference, the default configuration for a newly created category option or attribute option is public access, metadata can edit and view, and data no access. You may need to alter these settings based on the type of access you would like associated with this particular item. These sharing settings have also been applied to datasets as well. Data can capture data allows users to both enter data as well as view reporting rate completeness and timeliness in analysis applications. If they do not have this assigned, then they will not be able to see the dataset in the dropdown during data entry. Note that this now works closely in conjunction with category and attribute option sharing. For example, if I only share the data set at the data can capture data level, but do not share the category or attribute options associated with this data set at the same level, I will not be able to enter data in data entry as expected. As an example, we can see when this is correctly configured, the user is able to enter data in data entry. As both of these items work in conjunction in data entry, it is important to review the sharing settings associated with both objects to determine if you want these items available for data entry. In this case, all of the individual category options within this data set, less than 15, 15 to 24, 25 to 49, and greater than 49, as well as the data set itself has been shared correctly. However, if I have an incorrect configuration, for example, the less than 15 years category option is not shared correctly, then the user is not able to enter data as intended. DHIS2 provides an error because this category option is not shared correctly, either publicly or within a user or user group. In our example in which this worked, we had the category option shared publicly, allowing users to view the metadata and capture the data. How to share these items will depend on the procedures associated with your configuration. Therefore, it is important to make sure to review these correctly. For a dataset, 
Data can view data allows a user to see related reporting rate data in analysis applications. This does not allow a user to see a data set in data entry, but not edit the data set. It is only related to reporting rates in analysis. For your reference, the default configuration for a newly created data set is public access, metadata can edit and view, data no access. You may need to alter these settings based on the type of access you would like associated with this item. This has been a brief overview of the data level sharing principles introduced in 229 as applied to category and attribute options, as well as data sets. We can see that these concepts are closely linked together and require careful consideration. Scenarios in which you require separation for editing or viewing metadata and entering or viewing data benefit from the granularity that is now available within these settings. We will also discuss this process as it relates to tracked entity types, programs, and program stages. For more information, please feel free to ask us any questions you might have related to these concepts.